Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana here on YouTube. Okay, so I lied. This is going to be, I think, my last video share for my baby series. Um, tomorrow is a big day. I have a million things to do and it's already 8.30 at night. Um, it's for tomorrow at lunch. Uh, let me just catch my breath. So this last video share for my baby shower series, I'm going to share my favors, some extra treats, and some games that I'm going to play at the baby shower. Okay, so here goes. Here are my favors. First off and foremost, these are cookies. And I met this girl at the craft fair, and her business name is Hopeka Treat, Hopeka's Treats and she i bought um cookies from her before and they are delicious she makes really good sugar cookies so if you're in uh, on oahu she just opened a store i think she still does craft fairs but she has a store i think in on tripler's base anyway she made me these um sugar cookies they're made out of elephants and yay i love it so she made it in different colors so these are going to be the favors that each of the guests will have at their where they sit okay so she made different color variations these are my colors of my baby shower okay so i'm going to put this on the side um next off each guest is going to get an omiyagi and omiyagi is just a little bag of treats kind of uh, to say thank you in this instance to say thank you for coming for sharing uh, in our special occasion and I got this download I don't I bought a lot of download this elephant and it came in tags and um, you know you, you're gonna you saw it all over in my decorations so this is a tag that I cut out and I used my mini Tim Holtz mini attacher and I stapled it Actually, I think it's my Stampin' Up. It's a mini stapler. And it's a brown bag, kind of brown bag to um, to mimic the peanuts. Okay, then inside I just have two treats in here. And for those of you who know, I give a lot of Melaleuca um, goodies. So this is the Exceed Mints, which are sugar-free. And it's winter green, so it's green. And this is a blue tube of Renew Lotion. I love, this is my favorite, favorite lotion. You can only get it from Melaleuca and you have to be a customer of Melaleuca to get it. So I racked up enough points that I got, um, I bought 70 of each for free. I got it for free because I had so many loyalty dollars. Okay, so each bag will just have these two treats in it. And it's just something small for them to take with them to take home and what I did was I stapled it and then I just tucked it under here okay so I made 70 bags I'm gonna give some to the catering manager and I hired a girl to cover all of my seats okay and on each table I recycled this from the wedding these are the table numbers so my husband painted them last year I saved them all and so this will come with me um, and it'll sit next to the centerpiece so I'm gonna take uh, I'm going to do a video after, during the setup so you can see what I did. Okay, so those are the extra treats. Um, let me show you some of the other decorations that I'm doing. I am making my own backdrop. There will be one behind the mommy and daddy table and a candy slash dessert bar. But the one behind the mommy and daddy um, is going to be gray uh, curtain panels. Um, and I'm going to have balloons made out of uh, in the shape of clouds that's my goal um, I've never practiced to make one I've so tomorrow's gonna be my the test and I sold um, these garlands and I have other garlands too but I sold these and these are gonna hang so they are like raindrops with a medallion raindrops with a medallion okay so it runs about six feet in length so I'm sewing these now and then so that's gonna hang from the backdrop and these are my table cards I'm gonna show you mine's because I don't want to show everybody's one with their names on it so this is what I made so this is a digital background download 
um, each table will when we get there I'm gonna tape this and it's gonna sit right next to the centerpiece okay so this is what the table cards will look like okay <clears throat> and then okay so that's it for the tables now for the games I am going to have a table set up um, for games most of them are interactive because we have so many people coming well it's a big family so I have uh, quite a few number of people coming to the shower so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it very interactive so where they will go and walk around and they play these games and I'm gonna have some table games but most of them are interactive so first off when they check in on the check-in table they are gonna have a bucket like this and in there is going to be all these clothes pins so it's going to be loose not in the ziploc bag and then they're going to take one and when they check in the people checking them in are going to tell them to take a clothes pin wear it if don't say baby that's the key word and if you hear anyone saying baby then you get to take their clothes pin and the person with the most clothes pin after lunch will win a prize okay so that's my first game and then let's see what else do I have okay so then when you walk in I am also gonna have a diaper diaper raffle so they were pre-told to bring a pack of diapers any size and they're gonna put it in baskets that I have and when they do they also will put uh, there's a ticket and they will write their name on the ticket and put it into the bucket and during right during lunch i'm going to pull a name on who's going to win this diaper raffle so the mommy and daddy gets to take home all the diapers and the winner will get a prize okay and then they were also asked to bring a book um, if they want to these are all voluntary things so they're going to bring a book for the baby to be and they are to sign inside of the book or write a message and when they do bring it um, th when you get checked in their name is gonna go in another drawing and it's kind of a secret um, I didn't say that I was gonna give a prize for it but whoever brings books will get one entry per book that they bring okay so that's another game when they walk in there's gonna be a game table and this might be in a combination of my dessert slash candy bar so there will be three guessing games so I found these really big bottles um, I forgot where I bought them from I think Walmart sells them so I fill them up with peanut and plain M&Ms and they have to guess how many are in here and they will be all separately each game has their own um, entry blank so this will not be in the box but I'm gonna have them scattered all over but see I'm very anal I have to be organized so like this one has the M&M ticket so they're gonna put their name on it guess how many M&Ms are in this bottle and put it in another bucket for drawing there's gonna be a peanut here peanuts so this is fresh peanuts in here so I put as many peanuts as I could in here here's the other ticket for it and the last one is animal crackers and it's that big barrel that you buy from Sam's and um, they're gonna have to guess how many crackers are in there and put it in a separate bucket okay so there'll be three guessing games going at once this one is mommy's belly so these are all common games and you know people play it um, all the time so for this one what I did was I found these tape um, at Walmart how big is baby so they're gonna have to cut a piece of tape as long as they think would go around uh, my daughter-in-law's belly and the one closest to the right size of her belly will win a prize so after they cut it they're gonna staple they're gonna staple one end here and they gotta make sure they put their name on it they're gonna staple one end and then they're just gonna either wind it up or put it in a bucket and then I'm gonna go and see who wins that game okay so that's another game so then um, 
on another table oh here's another one when you check in i'm sorry i'm going all over the place because i'm trying to get all this in but these are all babies and i bought some of these from the local craft stores here and i ordered this smaller one from amazon right here these babies now this size is the one that you would put in and make ice cubes and uh, if your baby gets released if like your water bag breaks then you want a prize but with this is hundred and this is another hundred um, I'm gonna have these hidden throughout the banquet room and the one who finds the most babies will win a prize okay and then while they're sitting at their table I'm not sure when uh, during um, after, before lunch or after lunch but we are going to play a play-doh game so each table will already have play-doh on their table and with a piece of wax paper and the object of the game is to make for that table to come up with a uh, baby to make a baby shape out of play-doh and my daughter-in-law and son will go around and they will pick the winner of who made the best play-doh baby Okay, so that would be another prize for the table. And I'm going to play this left-right game. So each table will have a laminated elephant. And they have to pass it around. And I'm going to read a story. And it says, like, um, Mr. Left met Mrs. Right on left street so every time you hear a directional left or right you have to pass the elephant to the left or right and at the end of the story whoever ends up with the elephant wins a prize okay so it's a really fun game you have to listen sometimes left right comes five times in one sentence so it's it's really fun okay so that's another game and if that's not enough <laughs> I don't have the paper for it, but we're playing, We, if we have time, we're going to play What's in Your Cell Phone. It's a game, and there's a whole list of things, and if you have it in your cell phone, then you give yourself points. So it's an honor system. And then I have another two more backup games. It's Name That Baby. So it's all these um, animals, and you have to give the baby name for each of these. Okay, so like bear is a cub, cat is a kitten, etc. Okay, and this one is nursery rhymes and you have to answer the question of all of these nursery rhymes okay so that's if we have time we'll play those games now each guest will be asked to write a words of wisdom so I made uh, my friend helped me cut all these cards up but um, I made these cards and you're to write something for the mom and dad uh, and I'm gonna try to make a tag book for them so I'm gonna click this at the end of or during the shower so there they are to write something for the mommy and daddy and even Raiden my grandson and this one is a game that will continue after the shower is done and it's called baby predictions and they have to fill out all of these things you see they have to write their name and I already have all of their email and addresses so when the baby is born whoever comes the closest to the prediction will win a prize and it's a hundred percent most likely going to be a gift card so I can just mail it probably mail it out with a thank you cards or something like that okay so this is another interactive thing for them to do and let me look around me I think that's it oh one more so on the table on another table there's going to be this game and it's called the price is right and so i have 10 baby items here and it's going to lay out on the table and where's my and in front of each item i made these price is right cards and so each one will have um this tag in front of it so like the pampers this will be on the table and this will be right um, by it okay so I have various things in here there are, there are 10 items that I purchased and I think they were all from Walmart 
and so you have to guess the prices so whoever guesses the close without going over will win a prize so it's a total of all of these um, items okay so after when everyone has guessed and turned in their every game has a bucket next to it and they're gonna drop their entries in there or their answers and then we're gonna go and pick the ones closest so I'm then I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna write the price on the card so then they can go back and look okay oh this is how the game card will look it's gonna be in color uh, my friend is doing it for me so I just printed a black and white okay so that's how it looks and then okay that's it for the games who I'm tired already okay so then that's this game so let me put this back and I have to remember to pack my supply box with scissors and staplers and all that jazz Okay, so remember how I told you that, I don't know if I mentioned it in any videos, but I am going to do balloon decorations. So I've never done it before, so I'm going to try to do different balloon things. So I have a helium tank that will blow up 50 helium balloons. Uh, those I'm, will be strategically placed around the room. I'm going to have four balloon columns and I purchased the, these columns that you um, put the balloons and it goes in a circle and it nests and it grows to about maybe six feet tall and I'm going to place them by the stage and um, maybe by my candy bar and I'm also wanting to make one big balloon garland on the candy bar that where my banner is going to go and behind mommy and daddy I'm going to try to make those clouds that will dangle from the backdrop and so I went out and I bought well these are from Walmart so I bought extra balloon pumps so I have to blow up I think about 400 to 500 balloons tomorrow morning so I do have help I asked my friends to come and help me so I have three pumps and I have one um, electrical one okay so I have that I also have this um, balloon tire so you put it on like this and it really helps you tie knots into the balloon so I ordered this from Amazon so I have 20 of them and then I have balloons in all different colors some I bought from Walmart well actually the colors of the shower and this one is the big kit that I purchased from Amazon and I think it has a hundred balloons of different sizes and it's gonna make a garland so it comes with all of the things to attach it with so that's what it looks like inside so that this is for my candy bar and then all the rest will either have um, helium in it or these are ordered from Walmart I mean these are ordered from Amazon this two colors and then I got these from Walmart you know Walmart balloons are really reasonably priced party city is really expensive and at Walmart I found these baby boy balloons so these might have the heliums in them I'm not sure yet so oh, here is the other balloon pump that I ordered and this one is really good I got it off of Amazon okay so that is the end of my share and um, I hope that you come and follow me tomorrow as I prepare for my baby shower and I hope I can do a good video tomorrow because I'm gonna be all over the place and that's it I'm rambling so thank you everyone for coming for joining me on this baby shower series and I will see you tomorrow morning good night